Welcome to your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast with Deanna Hobbs, founder of Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, broadcasting live from our headquarters studios in Buffalo, New York. Visit us online at empoweringeverydaywomen.org. Hey, it's Deanna Hobbs here. Thank you for pressing play to listen to today's inspiration, Fight for Your Promise, which is an audio companion to the written devotion of the same title, available now at yourdailycupofinspiration.com. There is a blessing, a breakthrough, a promise, a harvest, a miracle with your name on it. To reap the harvest God has for you, however, you will have to fight through doubt, fear, worry, discouragement, challenges, and even attacks of the enemy. But if you hold on to your faith and fight for your promise, God will manifest his word. This past Saturday, there was an ultimate fighting championship, UFC match, my husband Kenya decided to watch. I had no intentions of joining him because UFC fights are too brutal for my liking. Ironically, I am a huge boxing fan and love a good knockout as much as the next person. Even so, the UFC version of mixed martial arts brings out my squeamish side. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little biased against the UFC because in the 90s, when the sport debuted, the UFC slogan was, there are no rules. For instance, headbutting, which is illegal nowadays, was totally allowable in the early days. That turned me off. I was horrified by the sight of fighters in cages on blood-spattered floors bludgeoning each other. It was too much. To be fair, UFC rules have evolved. Headbutting is no longer allowed, thankfully. However, some ferocious moves are still okay, like repeatedly elbowing an opponent in the head or putting them in a chokehold. Anyway, on Saturday, I got caught slipping and ended up transfixed by one of the bouts that preceded the main event. Everything in me was screaming, look away. But I couldn't, especially not after one of the fighter's shoulder joints popped out in the first round. Gruesome and all, my eyes were glued to the screen. Since I am not that familiar with UFC rules, I assumed the horrible shoulder injury meant the fight was over. There's no way this guy can keep going, I thought. I was wrong. The battered fighter went to his corner, and his coach popped his shoulder back into place. Ugh, I'm cringing all over again just thinking about it. I watched mouth agape with disbelief when the guy stepped out for round two. Hopefully he can fight through it, one of the commentators said. I can't believe he made it. His toughness is on another level. During the second round, the poor guy's shoulder popped out of socket again. This time, it looked even worse. Yet, the wounded warrior didn't stop fighting until his opponent defeated him by a technical knockout or TKO. That fight reminded me of why the UFC is too hardcore for me. But watching it also gave me a deep respect for that tough fighter's courage and perseverance. I imagine that if Jacob from the Old Testament were alive today, he'd probably be an amazing UFC fighter. Like, come on. Jacob is legendary for wrestling with an angel all night long and refusing to give up despite having his hip knocked out of socket in Genesis 32. This epic, biblically recorded showdown took place near the Jabbok River 20 years after Jacob whose name means supplanter or trickster, tricked his twin brother Esau out of his inheritance in Genesis 27. At the time, Jacob's successful con job unsurprisingly made Esau angry enough to kill him. Therefore, when Jacob learned that Esau and 400 men were headed his way, he wondered, is Esau still mad after 20 years? Unsure and afraid, Jacob cried out to God for protection and reminded the Almighty of his prophetic word. But you have said, I will surely make you prosper and will make your descendants like the sand of the sea, 
which cannot be counted, Jacob prayed in verse 12. Oh, there's power in praying the word of God because Jeremiah 1.12 tells us God watches over his word to perform it. Friend, when confronted with a problem, remember the promise. In Jacob's case, not only did he put God in remembrance of his word, but Jacob also fought for what he believed. He wrestled the angel despite this heavenly being's command for Jacob to let him go. When Jacob refused, the angel injured the relentless fighter's hip, knocked that thing right out of socket. Ouch! Yet, that didn't deter Jacob. I will not let you go until you bless me, he said defiantly. And unlike the injured UFC fighter that lost his battle, Jacob hobbled away the decisive winner. Your name will no longer be Jacob, the angel said. From now on, you will be called Israel because you have fought with God and with men and have won. Jacob fought for his promise. He fought for his victory. He fought for his future. He fought for his destiny. He fought for everything God promised, and we must do the same. Right now, God is ministering to you and assuring you that every word he has declared over you must manifest. Even though along the way, you have confronted situations that threatened to derail your destiny, nothing can stop the plan of God. In Isaiah 14, 24, God said, Surely as I have planned, so it will be. As I have purposed, so it will happen. Then in Isaiah 55, 11, God said, So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. You already have a word. All you need is the faith and the willingness to fight for what you believe. Push through the pain, defy discouragement and doubt. If you can press through the hardship, you'll get to the harvest. If you persevere through adversity, you'll get the victory. If you walk through the scorching heat of the wilderness, you will get to the refreshing springs of the promised land. What you are willing to fight through determines where you can get to. Who is God talking to today? If you don't retreat, God is saying you will reap. No matter the obstacles or challenges confronting you, whether they be physical, mental, spiritual, or emotional, they cannot cancel out the promise. The only way to forfeit the blessing is by quitting. And I just don't believe there's any quit in you. You're a fighter and God is a promise keeper, so you can't lose. I speak over you, whoever you are, and command your faith and your fight to wake up because there's a promise with your name on it. To help you fight for that promise, I'm stirring a sweetener into your cup of inspiration found in Galatians 6 and 9 in the Amplified Bible, which says, Let us not grow weary or become discouraged in doing good, for at the proper time, we will reap if we do not give in. As you drink down the contents of your cup, whatever stands in the way of your blessing, fight through it and you'll break through it. Thus says the Lord, surely you will overcome and inherit the promise. Be encouraged and pray this prayer. God, your word tells me in Hebrews 10 and 23 to cling to hope. For you are faithful that promised. Despite what I see today, I know you can be trusted to do everything you said you would. In seasons when I am battle fatigued and discouraged, please strengthen me so I won't retreat and forfeit the blessings that will be released at the appointed time. Thank you in advance for breakthrough and manifestation. I declare that it is mine. In Jesus' name. Amen. Your daily cup of inspiration has been brought to you by Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, where we fuel your faith every day. We are grateful for your support that keeps these broadcasts available online as a free resource to help others grow in their faith. If you are being blessed and you believe in our mission to share the gospel, sow a seed of any size at empoweringeverydaywomen.org donate. Thank you for your generosity. 